Hi everybody, my name is Oli. I'm a junior doctor living and working in the UK. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. I've got another quick little rapid fire life update uh, style video for you today. Today is my first day working as a foundation year two doctor in the NHS. So my first full year of practice as a doctor has come to an end as of today, which is Wednesday the 3rd of August 2022, I've entered my second year of practice. Now I need to open this video by talking about Black Wednesday, which is the date that it is today, the first Wednesday in August. What this refers to is the National Changeover Day for junior doctors in the United Kingdom. So today we welcome all of our new FY1 doctors to the NHS. All of the recent medical school graduates that have finished their degrees this year will be joining us on the wards today as fully fledged FY1 doctors. Welcome to the profession, new doctors. It's amazing to have you with us. We'll do our best to look after you um, as you join us and get used to the way things work, but you'll be fantastic. Your training has prepared you for this. And if you have any questions or need any support, the FY2s, the SHOs are a really good bunch of people to come and ask. So welcome to the NHS New Doctors. And it's been a changeover period for me too. To give an extremely quick summary for those of you who are new to the channel or maybe aren't that familiar with medical training, even though the, the amount I go on about it on this channel is, is really something significant. The way it works is you do your medical school, which takes between four and six years. You then spend two years in what's called the foundation program. So foundation year one and foundation year two, after which that's when you start to typically dedicate your life more towards your specialty. So that will be either going into medicine, into surgery, or one of the other specialist areas in medicine that has its own recruitment pathways, things like anesthetics, radiology, uh, obstetrics and gynecology, things that don't neatly fall into the boxes of one or the other. To summarize the entirety of my past year in just a few sentences, when I finished medical school, which would have been in summer 2021, I graduated from Warwick Medical School as a graduate entrant to medicine. I then came back to Newcastle where I'd completed my first degree before even going to medical school. Then I did four months in Newcastle working in hepatobiliary and transplant surgery. So that was my general surgery rotation covering uh, HPB surgery, vascular surgery, and colorectal surgery. Then I did four months in an academic medicine block where I was doing my own research. So I'm what's called an academic foundation doctor, meaning I get some protected time for research and running my own projects, as well as doing general medicine on calls. And then I've spent the last four months in my acute internal medicine block. The way it works at my hospital in Newcastle is you spend two months on front of house medicine on what's called the assessment suite where you're clerking in new patients coming up with a treatment plan and then either sending them home or waiting until they can be transferred to the appropriate medical ward. And then the remaining two months of my foundation year one year I've spent working in clinical pharmacology and toxicology which is a really unusual area of medicine especially for a junior doctor. It's been a good opportunity for example to get involved writing up a case report for a snake bite which Again, don't really know where else that's gonna happen. It's been a fantastic job. I think I can put it here. A huge thank you to Tom, Fraser and Aidan, the registrars that looked after us uh, on that placement. And I think my crowning moment for the placement was being called moderately competent by a consultant before I left, which within the NHS is actually a badge of honor. So I'll take that and run with it. So that's my F1 year done and out the way. I'm now moving into foundation year two. So I'm starting off with a four month stint in neurology. That is the clinical neurosciences. I'm really, really interested in neurology. So it's a placement that I've been really looking forward to and I'm looking forward to doing the next four months. It's a really, really well staffed ward team with loads of opportunity to get to theatre, to get to specialist clinics and basically to embrace any on all learning opportunities. They seem really, really keen and it's an academic unit as well. For the following four months, I have my second academic block where I'm gonna be doing a very different project to what I did in my first year while I write up the project from the first year and get that submitted to a journal. And then I'll finish out my second year as a doctor with a four month stint in psychiatry. And I'm actually really excited for that as well. I think I'm gonna have a fantastic year. I hope I am because all of these things are things that I'm interested in. Now with that first year of my training out the way, you actually get a certificate that looks like this because after you've completed F1, you become a fully registered 
independent medical practitioner. So this is the certificate that actually arrived today my certificate of full registration as a medical practitioner, which allows me to work independently outside the confines of my training post. Basically, that means I can locum if I want to at another trust. And it also means that I've been added to the GMC register as a full proper doctor. When you finish foundation year one, that's when you get your full registration to practice. So that was a pretty cool thing, but there's actually two more cool things that have arrived in the post today, um, and I won't really have an opportunity to show you them another time. So the first thing is this. This is a picture of Aqua, my girlfriend who has just started today as a brand new FY1, as I was talking about earlier, and, and I asked her to order me some pictures from her graduation, just so I can have a few in my flat. Congratulations, Aqua, Dr. Asif, you are gonna be fantastic your patients are very lucky to have you so a virtual round of applause for aqua and then this is a bit of a bizarre ending to the video but again i don't really know when to talk about this another time so as a complete change of pace these are the black trainers that i've been wearing every day as a junior doctor for the past year and in fact every day before that for my last couple of years of my degree as a medical student I've, i'm sure i've had these for at least three or four years every single day on the wards, but they're now very much falling to bits. They've been used and abused. Both of the soles have come off. I've re-glued them multiple times, but it was time to invest in some new ward footwear, finally, because you really get your steps in as a junior doctor, like thousands of steps a day. You need something that is gonna protect your feet during long days on the wards and give you the proper support you need and will stay on your feet when you need to sprint to an arrest. And so I thought, you know what? I'm going up to SHO level, I'm getting a pay boost, you get a 5,000 pound pay increase when you go from FY1 to FY2. I'm gonna invest in some quality, long lasting footwear. So I've invested in some Allbirds. And I'll show a nicer picture of these on the screen, but as you can see, they look very similar. This lighting is quite dark and not the best place to appreciate a pair of black trainers. And these were not cheap. I paid about £100 for these, but I do believe in investing in quality footwear and quality items in general, things that you're gonna use every day. These have got to look after my feet and ankles when working on the wards or out and about. So I do believe in investing in quality. So. We'll see how they stack up. They are super, super comfortable. But that's where I'm gonna wrap this up, guys. I know it's a bit of a weird update, but I needed to make something today, and here we are. So thanks for watching. If you've got any questions about anything I've said, about what I'm doing or what comes next, please be sure to let me know down in the comments. It's lovely, as always, to interact with all of you on social media. Take care, thank you for watching, and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye for now.